Loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the best acts of worship. And to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you must know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or you must strive and do your best to know Allah azza wa jal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about himself in the Quran in many, many verses and through all his names and attributes. To love Allah, we need or we should do what Allah loves the most. And who is better to tell us what does Allah love the most? What are the most beloved deeds to Allah other than our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? The deeds that Allah loves the most. So the first one, the first hadith has three deeds in it. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked, Ya Rasulullah, what are the most beloved a'mal to Allah? He answered, the most beloved a'mal to Allah, number one, salat in its proper time. Second, respect and honor and goodness to the parents. And third, and striving in the way of Allah Azza wa Jal. In the next hadith, there is one. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he was asked the same question, he said, the most beloved deeds to Allah are those that are most consistent, even if they are small. Consistency, but they are, even if they are small. If I pray two rak'ahs, five minutes of qiyam every night is better than picking one night of the whole month and praying seven hours. The fourth amal, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, the most beloved deeds to Allah is to die while your tongue is moistened with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means the remembrance of Allah is a amal, is a deed that is so loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Constantly remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Rasulullah sallallahu was asked the same question, he was, he told them that bringing happiness to a Muslim, Allah loves that a lot. Putting a smile in a brother's face, in a sister's face, Allah loves that so much. Or removing a worry from him. A person is, is very worried. They are stressed. They have anxiety. And you came and you calmed them down. You, you ease their pain. Allah loves that so much. Number four, to remove his hunger. You know, somebody is, is, is going through some hardship. Maybe they do not have enough food to support their family. And you went and uh, uh, had some food delivered to their house. Now, this hadith that we will mention now has three in it. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, the most beloved of deeds to Allah is Iman Billah, belief in Allah, keeping your ties with your family, Salat al-Rahm, and ordering good and forbidding evil. Amr bil ma'roof wa nahi an al-munkar. Iman Billah. Allah loves to have the person who have strong Iman and keeping the ties of kinship. You are always in constant checkup on your mother, on your father, on your family members, on your uncles. You have good relationship with them and you're doing it also for the sake of Allah and because Allah loves it and ordering good and forbidding evil. Anytime we see something bad and evil, we should say something and say it politely with gentleness and make sure that uh, do not worry, oh, what the people are going to say about me. No, when you see something wrong and you know for sure it's wrong, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like that. That's an act of disobedience to Allah. You should say something. The next hadith, a man came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and asked him, about the most beloved thing to Allah and the most beloved, uh, the most thing that will lead people to, to Jannah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, making frequent sujood, which means making a lot of optional salat. After we finish the fard, the fard is an obligation. We have no choice but to pray. The Muslim must pray all the five daily prayers. Here, it means to do extra salat. So my brothers and sisters, all this amal, we mentioned praying on time, being good to the parents, making a lot of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, putting a smile in each other's faces, uh, a lot of optional salawat. All these amal are told to us that Allah loves them the most. So let's do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the most. So hoping that we will gain the love of Allah azza wa jal and we will gain his mercy and we will be admitted into the highest place in Jannah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make me and you from the people who 
listen and apply to make our last deeds, our best deeds, and our last words, La ilaha illallah.